The debris field is so huge, search crews are literally walking inch by inch through large soybean fields like this one, looking for any pieces of the down plane that may be on the ground. In addition to the servicemen on foot in the field, a military helicopter circled over both crash sites Wednesday morning. Two large impact areas are half a mile north of Highway 82 and a half mile south of Highway 82. We have a pretty large uh, area to cover. There are items that are going to be recovered by teams on the ground. Some of these may be unsafe. In honor of the servicemen who died, somebody tied 16 black balloons to a signpost at the road that leads to the spot where the fuselage went down. It's a disaster, that's what it is, and Lord help the family, you know. LaFleur County Sheriff Ricky Banks said the recovery operation from the Monday plane crash is already taxing his small department of just 23 deputies. It's just hard to keep up with the local crime and work this too, you know what I'm talking about. And, but. We've got good people in here, good support from the state, good support from the Marines. State officials, including Governor Bryant, is warning residents in the area if they take pieces of the plane from the site, they could possibly face prosecution. Reporting from LaFleur County, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.